<coughs> Mate, I, I could take Monokuma one on one. I'm out of Bilky Balls! What is going on, my Bardo boys and girls? Manny Bardo here. The weather is looking like England, but right now, in this moment, I'm gonna be doing a bit of a discussion about the new Gen 8 Pokemon games, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, and I am with ya boy, Toki Saki. What is up, disciples and Bardo boys and girls? Toki Saki here. And uh, yeah, so we, we sort of briefly talked about some stuff. We've made a list of what we want to talk about. Uh, we haven't. We haven't gone like extremely into detail about it. There's probably some things that some really nerdy people have picked up that we haven't. And uh, sorry, we're a bit late on the uh, the editing front. But without further ado, shall we shall we talk about some key factors that we've noticed? Starting yes. with, I want to start with one really extremely important point. Um, okay. What is with the amount of wheelbarrows? <laughs> Like, I swear there's like 10 in this in this direct video. That's actually true. <laughs> it's just like, is that is that going to mean something? But anyway, that's not important. Anyway, um, the characters is what we're going to start by talking about. So we're just going to watch the video in the background ourselves. We're going to put it in slow motion. Yep. Uh, you'll see some screenshots of what we're talking about. But they... I like how they did the same sort of thing in Sun and Moon. Yeah, I think, basically I looks think like Sun and Moon, right? Every, every character is kind of meant to represent 10 years old. And then Sun and Moon, I felt, was the first game that exceeded that bit because they made them look a bit taller, a bit older. Like, a, I think they're meant to be 11 years old. I can't remember if that's actually true or not. But they yeah. seem to be I mean, almost teenage looking. Yeah, because um, in, in black and white, they were actually meant to be 16. Uh, really? And, yeah, and that actually also shows on the characters. Uh, in, yeah, in black and white they're actually meant to be 60, but here, uh, obviously, like, um, I'm looking at the mill uh, right now, and which looks, I mean, guys, come on, this is literally Manny Barlow, isn't it? Like, literally, if you yeah. literally remove Manny Barlow's beard, that is Manny Barlow. <laughs> wait, I can't, wait. You can't see this, Toki, but I'm putting my beanie on. <laughs> I'm not bad, this is actually Manny Barlow, man. You should buy that shirt, even though it's not a really good shirt, but... Wait. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> and uh, I like how for the female one they got the old uh, traditional sort of Scottish hat. I'm not sure what it's actually called. Um, yeah, it looks really nice. Cool. I think the female one looks fantastic. Mm. I think it's really, it's a really interesting. Look, uh, do you see the wheelbarrow? <laughs> yeah, there is a wheelbarrow again. Yeah. Is that really something English? I don't know. Like, surely I'd... not. Well, that, that goes into another point I want to talk about, but well, we'll talk about that later, I think. Should we move on to the next point? Have you got any more character? Yeah, no, I don't think uh, there's much about guys because, right. I mean, I think they look really good in this game. Um, I think, uh, I mean, they, they look pretty much pretty good in every single game. i got to say, the mail from Plan wasn't my favourite, but yeah, I think they did a good job. But yeah, we can move on. Pretty decent job. All right, and uh, I guess we're going to go into the uh, aesthetics. Yeah, oh my there, goodness, this I game mean, looks beautiful. If you told me uh, that there was going to be two Pokemon regions, one was going to be based on Hawaii, and the other one was going to base, be based on the UK, and you told me which one do you think is going to be the more beautiful, vibrant Obviously looking Hawaii, one, right? you think Hawaii, <laughs> but they've, they've managed to step up their game, even though it's, yeah. it's in the UK, it doesn't see, it, it, you don't think it resembles that kind of thing, but it just looks absolutely beautiful, I'm so hyped for the graphics. Yeah, they, it looks fantastic. They made it, um, I'll take this video because I can't really hear the Actually, another point that I was going to make, it kind of goes on to the aesthetics, I, um, I, it's more of a character thing that I just thought about now, yeah. but they, they made it different to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, like we thought they were going to be the same sort of design for them yeah so they, they've actually it looks closer to sun and moon than it does let's go Pikachu absolutely because they they like shrank them down which look cool but like yeah i, li I like how they going on with that one um, i think that too i, I think that's uh, the good choice that's especially showing that the um let's go pikachu and eevee was a side game and wasn't meant to be a main series game so exactly uh, right. and of course they've had a lot of backlash on uh let's go eevee and pikachu because people were thinking like oh my god is this really the way we're going to it's it's a super easy game like where is the competitiveness um but they've literally just gone back um they've literally gone back everywhere like they've gone back to the gyms as well um 
So it's, it's literally just the, the old school Pokemon, but just gorgeous. <laughs> and uh, one of my feelings that I actually had looking at the whole region, like it, it's obvious that it's based on the UK, but I almost feel yeah. like it's based on an older version, like sort of medieval, old English. Kind yeah, of. I agree. And it's also, I, I, it just gives me not only English, but just in general European vibes. Like, um, if you go to 116 in the video and pause it out, you can see, uh, the, you know, the, the big lake and the mountains in the background and like uh, all those spots on the hills. That has such, it gives me a really like Eastern European or like Middle European vibes, like Czech Republic. Um, it, it, it just looks really, it, it looks so European to me. I don't know if this is like an actual, if this is also in the UK, like how it looks like this, but I don't yeah, think might the UK be, has many mountains. There might have brought certain influences from other parts of the world for sure. Yeah, I mean, speaking of that, um, looking at the map, I saw a freaking windmill and I, okay, obviously, obviously, well, it is probably not the Netherlands, but I mean, I, that it's literally the sign of the Netherlands. It's, yeah, <laughs> I mean, maybe we're looking too much into it. Maybe like yeah, that absolutely. windmills do exist in the UK. And yeah, obviously. They're, but they're not, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it's probably, it's, it's the Netherlands, but it's like, they probably have, you know, they probably took some things from Europe, uh, or maybe, yeah, maybe the medieval time, times in uh, England. Obviously, it's I like don't know that much about it. The houses, them, uh, sort of cottages, I don't know if you know what that is. Yeah, 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 you mean like, yeah, uh, yeah I know what you mean, I mean, that look, it looks really cool. It looks and they've got, so... yeah, there's like castles and stuff, it's giving me like, I, I saw like the forest as well, it's giving me like Robin Hood kind of yeah. vibes, almost. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go on to the starters and... Well, oh I wanna say goodness. one more thing. I think with this game, they've actually... Because uh, um, last game, you know, I, f I felt like the world looked a little bit small. As in, if you walk there, you've seen everything there. But I feel like now they've actually shown... Uh, when, when you see all the background and everything, this world feels like an actual world. You know, Alola was like literal uh, little islands. But they were actually yeah. small because you could walk pretty much everywhere. And it wasn't like a big open space of like uh, forests or mountains or whatever. But this feels like a really big open world, you know, like Pokemon actually have places to live here. So that I wanted, I wanted to point out that it looks really cool. But yeah, let's move on yeah. to the starters, Mr. MB. Let's move on to the starters. Wow. Like, I think for me, it's like Gen 3. For you, maybe it's like Gen 4 or something. Like, they, they all just look good. I'm just finding it so hard. To pick one like straight off the bat just by looking at them, not even thinking about their final evolutions, it's just like I'm so glad yeah. we're back at this point. Yeah, just... I think they look fantastic. Like um I'm not too sure about the bunny one, it looks really odd to me, but I it's starting <laughs> to grow on me, but I, I feel like most of these yeah, that grow was, on me. That happens most of the time, like it, it was the same for Sun and Moon at first, everyone was like, eh, they're, they're alright, and then you just kind of you just grow on them. But I feel like the difference yeah. is I actually like them straight away. Yeah, and especially, I mean, Manny, if you had to choose right now, you had no choice, oh you had God, to choose no. right now, which starter would you pick? I mean, for me, I gotta say, I'll give you some time to think, for me, uh, it's definitely solo. This, I, I mean, the body looked alright, but it, it took me some time to get used to. Um, Grookey is like a monkey, it gave me a bit too many chest pin vibes, but this solo looks like, I, I don't know, it, it's a chameleon, an actual cool one, not the freaking, uh, what's his name? Um, I forgot. To, what's the obvious Charmeleon Pokemon? What's his name? Kecleon. Um, right. He, he looks. I don't mean. The, the moment I saw his head pop out of the water, I was like, okay, this guy looks actually really <laughs> sweet. And that that if I had to pick right now, I had to pick someone. Almost like Vaporeon. Uh, gives you like Vaporeon vibes almost. Like the the bit at the top. I'm not sure what it's called. The uh, um, Vaporeon, the outer layer on, around his head. Like a oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing. That's yeah, you're right. Kind the of, main kind of sort of. That. And yeah, honestly, I'm probably gonna go with Team Sobble as well. Yeah. Just by looking Damn. at it. <laughs> uh, but we're just gonna we're gonna give some crazy predictions. Like we can't even guess what the Ooh, typings yeah. would be, and the typings for the final evolutions as well. Right. So got, let's start with Sobble, yeah. shall we? Let's start because with that, Sobble. We like it. Now, I have seen, oh, because people just, are just throwing on fan out right now, right? And I've seen a fan of Sobble, which gave me a water poison vibe as his final evolution. And that, to me, looked so cool. And I think um, that will be a pretty cool typing as well, because the only poison typing we've had in the start was obviously Venusaur. Um, yeah. 
and I was in Gen 1, so I wouldn't mind them bringing back a poison type as a starter. So I, I gotta say, and kind of even hope, that Sombo is gonna be a water poison as a starter. But if it's water poison, does that mean they're gonna balance out the other starters? Because already it resists, uh, it's just neutral again with grass. True, so maybe the grass one needs something that can, you know. Because, yeah, obviously, the, the, the grass one needs to have. That's a really good point because, okay, so the grass one needs to have something that resists the water one because obviously stars are made to be able to beat each other, right? Or resist poison. So. Yeah, uh, like uh, poison resistance but also strength. Oh, that's tough actually. Now you, now like, you say that. Wait, ground resists poison. But, but I then, don't think it will be ground. But then the water will be neutral against it. But anyway, yeah. it, I, I think I'm, I'm agreeing with you. I. I kind of agree that now that you're saying that, it'll end up being a poison type, but I'm more positive that it will remain a just a water type for the first two evolutions. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Alright, let's move on to that fluffy little bunny. Score bunny. Ooh. What are we thinking? Yeah, you go first on this one. I, 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 I don't know, it's a tough one. It's completely white. I, I, they I was thinking, I, I don't think they would ever do that, but it was like... It, it, it's so white, surely they wouldn't actually make a fire ice type, right? <laughs> fire ice? How sick would that be, though? Yeah, it's probably a terrible really type. Cool. I, I, yeah, I can't really imagine they'll do anything like that. Um, yeah, exactly. It Apparently, it's meant to be a very energetic character. It can't be mm. another firefighting. <laughs> yeah, I don't <laughs> like, think they will. But that's the kind of vibes I get from it. Like, uh... Damn. I might, I might even say fire normal in this case. It, yeah, I, it, it's tough. It's definitely not dark or any or psychic the, or anything. Yeah, it's just at this point you just can't. It, it might even just turn into a steel type and just gain like yeah. these metal platings. You just yeah, I you don't know. I honestly, I'm just gonna say fire, neutral fire. Fair enough. Yeah, I, I, I mean, should have thought I, about it a bit more before the video, but you know, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. Go fire. I, I I might say fire normal. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go try with that. All right, and then a grookey. A grookey is. My question is, is this the stuff that he does with the stick? Is that meant to mean anything, or yeah, is he is he just holding a twig and just? Because he's kind of giving me like, I don't. I, is it is it Bam Bam from the Flintstones? <laughs> the I have kids no like, idea. like, like hitting the stone. I don't know if that means he could be a fighting type. Oh yeah. But if they do that, that means they have two fighting starter monkeys. I don't know if they want to go that direction. Yeah. Well, I was maybe even thinking, let's say they would go the poison route with Sol. Yeah. Imagine if they made Grookey a, a grass psychic. Wow. Wouldn't that be quite interesting? Because have we had a psychic starter? I think we had. I mean, that was my least favorite starter of all time. The, the what's, what's the name? Delphox. That's the fire psychic type. I, I, I See, I would say that, but I'm basing it too much on Sobble because I don't think Grookey looks like it will become a Psychic type. I, I'd rather think it becomes something like a Grass Rock type from the way it looks and the brown colors. Yeah. And maybe Grass Ground. But I don't know. It's, yeah, it's it really tough. Actually, it's kind of giving me like earthy tree vibes now that you Yeah, exactly. Say that. So all right, maybe I'm gonna say grass rock, but obviously I'm pretty sure I'm wrong with all of these. I'm yeah, really glad I, I get one right. They're gonna show us in like the next trailer and it's all gonna be sure, completely yeah. different. But should we move on to the region layout and name? Yes, let's do that. So starting out with uh, the name Galor, I I did a bit of googling, and when you Google it, the English meaning means disease, and yeah, I have Galo. no idea. I don't. I haven't actually researched if any of the names that we had before the regions meant something at yeah. all. But I'm just throwing out a crazy prediction that maybe the story has something to do with some sort of disease. And if you I can't remember where the timeline is, but at one point we see what looks like Meltan, like sort yeah. of cropped out in the grass. Yeah I'm, true. I'm starting to think maybe that could be connected. Maybe Meltan is the cure to this weird disease, but we don't even know if Meltan is a legendary. We don't know if the story is going to be based on him in particular. Yeah, yeah, that's a really interesting point, uh, because yeah, I, I was searching... The, the first thing I did when I heard the Gala region, I was like searching for the word, 
but I only got like bad words like disease and everything I was like wait is that actually <laughs> why would they use that you yeah. know but yeah maybe that is a point um, the thing like that when when someone's cropped out in the grass like that I swear it normally represents like an alien kind of thing that's what I get yeah. seen in the movie right. so maybe Meltan is some sort of alien being from yeah, another maybe world. it's not even Meltan you know maybe it's not even Meltan maybe, maybe it's, yeah well I'm well, trying to find the for all we know you know yeah, it's tough, Where but I it? think that disease. I, I'm not sure because it's still a kids' game. I'm not sure if they would want to use something like that as a main well, storyline thing. I'm not saying it's anything too serious. It might, yeah, it might, okay, fair, it might but... be like a cold kind of thing, but it's still like a, a contagious thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a fair point. I don't know. And the region, I mean, uh, I wasn't convinced at first, but you showed me a picture. It does look. Like the UK upside down, so that makes me even more convinced <laughs> that it's actually completely oh based on the UK. Like, and of course you see like that Big Ben building. Like, it, yeah, it, it looks so UK, man. It's it's <laughs> insane. Train as well, like. Yeah. I don't know. But I think this region vibe. looks fantastic. It looks absolutely beautiful. And then uh, we're gonna move on to the logo. So yeah. something that was weird seemed weird to me is. Um, they have like a wolf dog looking thing on the logos, yeah. and because it's because it's Pokemon, like there's no such thing as just like animals. Yeah, it's inexplicable so why they would put on that rather than like it has to be something. So does that mean said, something? Like, is that kind of, yeah? Is that the symbol of a legendary? And wolves would both definitely the same. fit. So would it be They're, two yeah. different kind of wolves? Maybe yeah, two different. Maybe even. Uh, the legendaries will be based on one being a very offensive mon and the other one being very defensive. Yeah, I think shield. that is probably sh that is probably certain. Mm. I, I would honestly because if they because I, honestly when I heard the name Sword and Shield I was like no I felt like they <laughs> ran out of ideas. I yeah. mean I know I know Nintendo they are gonna make it work right they're gonna make it work for sure but uh, I still felt like those names were like a little bit odd to me. But yeah, I think that it makes sense that at least the legendaries are going to be like an offensive one and a defensive one. Um, yeah, true. And <laughs> yeah, I don't know, like with the wolves. You know, I've heard like a lot of the leaks, like how they could, how they were going to be like dragons or snakes or something. Oh um, wow! Yeah, actually, I I even remember that. That was way before Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Yeah, yeah, that was actually a long time ago when uh, someone showed us that yeah, there were like snakes. And that um, you could travel to another region, which which uh, had a USA flag on it, and obviously uh, black and white is based um, on the area of the uh, United States. So yeah, I was super hyped about that. Now that I've seen this, obviously I'm not sure about that anymore. But yeah, you never know, of course. You like, never know. They what only showed us the freaking map. That's it. So all right. Yeah, the wolves. I, I think it's. A, I could. It could be, or maybe it's. You know. Uh, like you have in black and white, you have Reshom and Zekrom, and then you have the one in the middle, Kuram. Yeah. Maybe it's like that. Maybe the wolves represent that one Pokemon that's really important. I don't know. It's almost like uh, Lycanroc has three forms. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. But anyway, so um, I think we pretty much talked about all the points that we discussed. I, I have a few points in my head still to talk about, so we can just maybe express any last details that we have. Yeah, sure. Throw them out, mate. Uh, one thing is the gyms. Right, right. Because I, I thought I had an idea of what the gym would be, but Toki actually pointed out something that makes even more sense. Do you know where the map is? Where is the map? Uh, the map is. Let me check real quick. It is at. Is that like four fifty three? You can go to five oh six. Five oh six, yeah. and you'll notice. So, just above. Actually, yeah, that's a good one. Uh. So you can see these, I'll point to them in the picture maybe, so you can see these like buildings, they all look the same, but they're like different colours. Yeah. And look, what I got from it at first was, I thought it was going to be some sort of Pokemon Championship Arena League thing, like something like from an anime. But yeah. I, I guess they, it could be the gym, they beefed it up, they have got more of a crowd and just yeah, made it, I guess they made it look even better. Like well I'm not sure if the... Yeah, I was gonna say like I, I'm not sure if that football stadium scene, you know, where the the male character walks in like with, with the shirt and everything, oh, you think that's is the different? gym. Yeah, I don't think it's. I, I'm not sure if that's the gym, um, but yeah, you're right. Like those buildings. Um, if you look, uh, I don't know. I think you're at five or six, right? 
Uh, pretty much, yeah. So if you look at the the left uh, middle, you see like one in in like a forest, right? You see like a yeah. purple one with mm -hmm. like uh, toadstools next to it. That I'm guessing that's gonna be like a poison type gym, and then the one beneath that is gonna be a ground type gym, Ooh. and then you have one um, uh, more on the right, I think. Oh no, no, you can't see it there, but. Yeah, anyway, I, I think those represent maybe the typings as well, the colors. Because, you know, in the video you saw like the grass-ish typing thing, right? So maybe that's yeah. a grass gym. So, I don't know, they yeah. Could, yeah, that, it could be color themed. That is a really good point. Yeah. Maybe, uh, I don't know. And then another building that seemed not suspicious or anything, just like curious to me, I'm trying to find the timeline right now, is what I first thought was the gym. Because uh, I had like a... It had a symbol on it, which looks like a Japanese character, and I don't know oh, why, yeah. it just gave me like, oh. gym vibes. I, I'm, I'm struggling to find it, it's like... Yeah, I know which one you mean. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure it was when Pikachu's battling... Yeah, okay, so like 1.30ish. Okay. There's like a, almost like a Dragon Ball Z symbol looking thing on a church. I oh, don't, yeah. I've been trying to find out if there's any other building that has the same... Logo, I couldn't see anything, so it could just be a one off thing, it could not mean anything at all. Yeah. Uh, but uh, well, wait, if, uh, there was a point where the, where the dude starts talking. Because uh, is, is I noticed that as well. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's the same city, because uh, if you go to 405, uh, you see the, the guy in, in the red jacket talking. On the top left, yeah. you see it like blurred out, you see that same sign. I don't know if oh, that's the is, same yeah. building. Because uh, I can check. Okay, so four or five. It could be a special event thing, like uh, in Sun and Ultra Moon, we had the, the photo uh, thing where you could like make these photos and stuff. So yeah. It could be like some extra thing we've never had before. Yeah. If I think about it, I think it's the same building as the one they showed in 130, so um, it's probably not different. So I think. I don't know. I don't know if that's a special thing. Maybe it's some new kind of building where you can do. Something completely new that we've never been able to yeah. do before in Pokemon games, so that could be as well. That could be uh, really cool. There are so many things, but it's just like, what? We don't know, there's nothing yeah, We don't know, yeah. Alright, any so, last yeah. points that you have at all? Uh, no, ra only the fact that I'm so hyped, man. I can't. Oh my I really want what, to play this. I, one thing that's really weird, if you go to 132? There's like, it's in a place where oh, uh, in the there's middle? like ice and wow. stuff, but like for some reason there's some like sunbeds. And what? Like, You're right. That's not a very UK thing. Hold up, is that ice or is that... No, you're right, that's ice. It's, it's like ice around the whole place, it's really odd. That is a very good point. Um, and there's like waterfalls behind, and then behind there is like mountains with ice, jeez. I don't know, <laughs> that looks really good. I mean, technically, maybe it's that this... Uh, no, nah, I would say, like, usually, you know, even in, in ridiculously hot places, if the mountain is high enough, obviously there's going to be snow on it. But if you look at how high the mountains are and how high this spot is, it doesn't look like the mountains are that high that, yeah. you know, that there's going to be snow on there while this place is really hot. So <laughs> that, you're right, that's a really <laughs> interesting point. All right, I'm going to end with one last point. Go to 136. And tell me, this bitch, this bitch doesn't look like she's come out of Hogwarts. <laughs> I see I mean, what you're honestly, trying to do right? in Japan. Yeah, you've got for the this whole is Hogwarts. <laughs> everyone, everyone resembles Hogwarts with Eng not even England, London. <laughs> yeah, but like, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's literally a school suit. That's, that's yeah, such a. It looks cool. I'm gonna say it's that's cute. probably the new last of this uh, of this game. Probably yes. But uh, uh, anyway, guys, I think that wraps right. up everything we have to say. Um, yeah. I've just realised I haven't been recording with my mic at all, so I've been recording with my phone mic. <laughs> Silly oh, me, we'll see how it sounds. Um, <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> oh my god! But thank you, my Manny. brother, boys and girls, and the disciples for watching our discussion video. Hopefully, we can do more discussions on next videos. We might even come up with more ideas. There's an idea that's lingering in my head. I was thinking about it yesterday, and I can't think about it at all. Yeah. Well, maybe later uh, his maybe brain later. will come you up with it and uh, be like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, I've been Mr. MV straight from the PC, and we'll see you in the next video.